Hey Pookies! Today's tutorial is on Love is Blind Love Bug. Of course, once again, my daughter's back. She is my model for this look. Um, I did this look for a Valentine's competition for Dupe Magazine. Um, it's for creative. It's a magazine for creative artists. Uh, look them up on Instagram. Check them out. They're pretty cool. Uh, today's look was done primarily using water-activated paint by Mayron and eyeshadows. We started off with a base coat of white and then went over it in pink. The pink, the reason why we did white and then pink was because pink I have is too dark so we wanted to lighten it. After we do that we go in with a hot pink eyeshadow the one I used was from an e.l.f. palette. Again, my e.l.f. palettes don't have numbers or anything. So any hot pink you can find, you'll use that. Then we went in with a red water activated paint. And did these triangle looking things on the sides of her shoulders. And then we got the pink and a cosmetic wedge and kind of smeared out the edges of the triangles we did. And then we went in with a the hot pink eyeshadow again and smeared the edges. I think my daughter had something in her teeth at this point because she was goofing off. Then decided to show you some of the products we're using. That was red, white, now we're using pink right there. The different brushes that I was using on her. Now we're going back in and we are going to use a smudging brush and we're going to create dots. Different sizes and ranges, big ones, little ones, small ones, some as big as your head. Just kidding. There's the dork showing you the black dots. And then we went in with the white, another smudging brush. These ones, <clears throat> we tried making them a little smaller. I know you're going to say, why am I going in again and redoing the white and the pink on top? Um, when you're working with kids, you kind of try to find the easiest way to make things more comfortable for them. So it was easier for me just to start off on the bottom and then when I was ready to work on the head, go back up and do the same process that we did on the bottom. You go in with the white, then you go in with the pink, then we're going back in with the hot pink eyeshadow. We're going to fill in the temples the hairline and the hollows of the cheeks and to save a little bit more time I used a stencil to do the mouth trust me this is such a time saver you'll appreciate it and it comes out really good you don't have to worry about you know measuring and getting it accurate and <clears throat> after you're done with the stencil you just go back in and I don't want to say darken because we're using white, but yeah, you make the white darker. After you finish filling in the teeth, you go in with black and you're going to fill in all around the teeth, straighten out some of the edges. Then we went in with red to draw the lips. This I had done previous, or while well, earlier in the day, I just got a flat surface, laid out some latex as thin as I possibly could get it, and then tra used translucent powder so that it didn't stick when I pulled it off. Now we're going in with, of course, the glue stick to put pull down the eyebrows, and we're going in with latex now around it, after I measured and cut out the latex uh, pieces for the eyes. Again, you want to get the latex pieces as thin as you can so that the seams um, look better. On her left eye, the seam was way better than the right eye, but we were in a rush because, you know, I had already started and want her waiting longer. I did about three layers of extra latex on it. And then again, of course, we did the base of the white. I'm going to go back in with the pink. 
<clears throat> and the reason why I did white, pink, and then you're going to see me going with red is because if I would have went straight with red, um, the base color would have been different from the rest of the, the paint job. So I kind of wanted it to look a little bit more seamless. See, right here we're going in with the red, I'm covering all the eyes, and then again you smudge out the edges. Sorry, that noise you just heard was my daughter falling in her room. <laughs> we smudged out the edges with a red from my Sex Bomb um, Femme Fatale NYX palette, and then um, now we're going in and we are doing triangles on the nose, kind of give it a little bug-like feature. And then we're going to go in again and we're going to do dots. Big ones, small ones, some as big as your head. Can anybody tell me where that's from? That was my daughter talking in the background again. We did the white and now we're going in with the wig. I got this wig from a website called Wish. Um, I paid $3 for the wig and I believe it was like a dollar or two dollars for shipping. And um, I just teased it out the antlers or antennae that you see I used a headband and um, some wire some puff balls and I don't know what this other stuff was called but yeah I just made the antennae this was the final look you guys hope you liked it I ended up going in putting flowers in the background putting some wings on her don't forget to subscribe below if you like the video okay love you pookies bye